New information is streaming in about those Boston Marathon bombings that rocked the nation nearly three weeks ago. Now, three more suspects have been taken into custody on accusations that they interfered with the investigations into the attacks during the Boston Marathon. Now, the Boston Police Department released these, this news tweet providing assurance that there's no new threat to public safety. Now, the suspects just appeared in federal court in Boston. With more on these hearings and the suspects themselves, RT's correspondent Marina Portnaya joins me now. So, Marina, what can you tell me about these suspects and their relationship to Johar Sanaev? Who are they? Well, according to... According to federal investigators, the three college students who have been arrested have been identified as friends of Johar Sarnayev, the 19-year-old uh, the suspected of carrying out the Boston bombings alongside uh, his brother, Temerlan Sarnayev. Now, two of the students, uh, Diaz Kadrabayev and uh, Azmet Tashiyakov, are from Kazakhstan. And the other, uh, the other person arrested, uh, Robel Filippos, is a U.S. citizen. Now, they all all allegedly attended the University of Massachusetts uh, Dartmouth, where Johar was uh, was attending uh, university. Um, now, uh, the the uh, Kazakh students are charged with conspiring to obstruct justice by conspiring to destroy, conceal, and cover up tangible objects belonging to Johar, specifically a laptop and uh, a computer backpack containing fireworks. According to the federal complaint, Filippos is charged with willfully making material, materially false statements to federal law enforcement officials during a terrorism investigation. Now, the Kazakh students face up to five years in prison and a $250,000 a $250, fine if they are found guilty. And uh, the U.S. Uh, suspect that has been arrested uh, faces eight years in prison and a $250,000 fine if found guilty. We should stress, though, that according to federal investigators, these three college students that have been arrested um, are, are, are charges stemming to what, is take, what took place in the aftermath of the Boston bombings and not in connection to planning the Boston bombings in any way, but nonetheless, um, an unexpected development in this uh, ongoing story and investigation to a terrorist attack that took place in Boston. I see. So the attorneys of two of these suspects just spoke. What did they have to say about these guys? Well, the attorneys for two, yeah, two of the suspects, as you mentioned, the, the Kazakh students, uh, spoke saying that uh, both of them are shocked and horrified by uh, the Boston bombings attacks. Uh, they in no way uh, helped or conspired with the suspects. They actually, according to the attorneys, the attorneys maintain that uh, the, their clients actually worked with uh, the FBI and answered all the questions that the FBI had asked, that the, 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 the defendants were very forthcoming with federal investigators. Um, so uh, while it, uh, federal investigators say that the, uh, these three college students that have been arrested were, were conspiring in the aftermath to possibly help cover up for Johar Sarnayev, the uh, attorneys maintain that uh, those that have been arrested, the two Kazakh students, um, both 19 years old, were actually working with, uh, with federal investigators. And uh, in addition to that, the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth issued a statement uh, saying that that uh, two of those arrested are no longer er enrolled uh, at the university, and uh, one of the students has been uh, suspended uh, while the proceedings with this, with these charges, is uh, continues and is ongoing. So clearly, a lot of pieces to this puzzle that is still being put together. Certainly. So these suspects who were here on expired visas, can you talk to me about what they're facing? You know, if, if they're found not guilty, are they facing possible deportation? Well, what one of the attorneys said is that his client, um, uh, the uh, Tashiyakov, uh, is actually, he is on a technical violation on a student visa for not regularly attending classes. So he, the, the, according to his attorney, that that student visa hadn't expired. It's a technical violation. Um, but I would presume that anybody that is in the United States without a, a legal visa, of course, would be facing uh, deportation. And maybe there's reasons that would allow them to stay, but I imagine that if you don't have a legal document, a legal, you know, visa, a green card, permanent residency, then you would be deported from the United States. Certainly. Well, do you know of, of any other evidence that the FBI may have collected in this case that you can share with us? 
Uh, as I mentioned, the uh, the FBI uh, did state that uh, that these students, uh, at least two of them, went into uh, went into Johar Sarnayev's uh, dorm room and helped remove um, certain items, such as a backpack with a laptop uh, and also bags containing uh, fireworks, and those were dumped in a landfill, according to federal investigators. Um, so uh, clearly, there's going to be many more, many more details coming out about this case. We're just getting bits and pieces as it evolves. Marina, thank you so much. That was RT's correspondent, Marina Portnaya.